Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Kyla, for those of you who may not know who I am. Um, I upload natural hair content, beauty, lifestyle, that sort of thing. So today's gonna be a day in the life and it's hair edition because I am going to get my quarterly reshaping and I will be going to none other than LaToya. If y'all have been following me for a while, you know I love her. I love her. So I'm headed to Brooklyn. Oh, I'm headed to Brooklyn. Oh, also, if you guys can't tell I'm in a new space, it's because I moved. If you have not watched that vlog, all right, y'all, apologies for the not so smooth transition, but we are officially at Elmore's Beauty Salon. This salon is ran by Curl Queen Latoya on Instagram. I have been going to her for three years now. You guys have seen me posting her work in the past. She big chopped my hair three years ago, and I have been going to her since then for hair shape maintenance, new shapings, anything really that I'm in the mood for. This time around, I wanted a new shape. I figured it's a new season. Um, I have a different hair color, so may as well go a different hair shape route. And so I showed her a picture and the shaping is definitely more heart shaped, which was what I was going for. And so she delivered. So as you can see, she's trimming the ends and taking off quite a bit. And this is it when she is officially done with that initial cut. And you guys can see it is stunning already. And like you can see how voluminous my hair is. Like it's really crazy. Um, and that's just from her taking off a bit from the back. I needed a lot taken off from the back for that heart-shaped look. And then she took a bit off of the top to make it more light and buoyant and give that uh, voluminous look. So now I am getting ready to go get my hair washed and I wanted to show you guys the different products that she has. She has a very huge selection. So she definitely caters to whatever your hair needs are like with the brand so she went ahead washed my hair and in the typical Latoya fashion um, when she is styling your hair she has a little bit of water pooled in the sink and she applies the products and mixes it with the water when you mix water with like your styling product it ensures definition in your hair and just make sure that like your hair looks its best um, whenever you're styling your hair you should be styling your hair on drenched water but obviously for a lot of people myself included like that's just not realistic but Latoya takes her time she is meticulous and she makes sure to define and style each curl which is what she's doing here so she literally went through my whole head like once I was out of the sink and she went through and she just defined and coiled every single curl so she really really took her time here and you can obviously tell in the work before she puts me under the dryer she went ahead and used some of that diva curl um, hairspray I really like that stuff and also it helps with like drying and speeding up the drying of like your hair styling process and then she took some k18 hair oil and applied it to the ends and that's supposed to help with like frizz and fight against humidity there really isn't much humidity yet here but still and then now i'm sitting under the dryer and it looks so good thus far then she had me flip my head over and 
she went ahead and like dried the back section of it because it was still you know a little wet back there but yeah she's just going through and completing that and then this is after she flipped my head back over and now she is still using the Dyson blow dryer and this is to help just give my hair volume it was pretty flat like it dried very flat so she's going through with cool water sorry not cool water cool air and just blasting it while fluffing my roots to just give a little zhuzh you know give a little zhuzh to the hair and then now she's doing those last finishing touches in terms of the cut and yeah get into it mm -hmm. it literally looks perfect it looks perfect you cannot tell me that it does not um but she always does this where she does that initial cut and then like if there's any bits that you know need any work she'll just go through and just add those last few finishing touches but this is pretty much the end of the service. Um, I, again, am always very satisfied when I leave her chair and her work really does speak for itself. So definitely a 10 out of 10. Okay guys, hi. It has been a two days since I got my hair done. Um, and I just, I didn't book like a deep condition with her because it, it cost like an arm and a leg girl. I was not paying that. So, um, my hair felt really dry today. So I went and I put a deep conditioner in it and I then like put a hot oil treatment in and then I rinsed it out and then blow dried it and get into the shape get into the shape i'm gonna style it um shortly but i wanted to just show you guys like my actual hair and then i'm gonna use the mayo mint oil in the parts and then i'm also gonna use this the olaplex oh, Plugging the Olaplex bonding oil. Should I turn this light off? Will that help? There we go. Okay, there we go. And then I'm gonna use this bonding oil. And then for styler, the goat, the go-to, my Camille Rose Aloe Butter Gel. And I'll come back tomorrow and show you guys like the results because I'm going to probably take it out tomorrow because I have work in person. But I wanted to just quickly show you guys like my hair right now. And it just feels so light and fluffy. Those ends really needed to go. I really needed a new cut, a cut. And also I really wanted to change, change up the shaping. So. I'm really just excited for this. So yeah, um, like even my bang area, you can see it's like here. My bangs were literally to my chin before. And then she took a lot, she took a lot off the back. So it just feels a lot lighter, more airy. But um, yeah, I wanted to show you guys my hair styled. So this is second day hair. I didn't even show you guys my hair like yesterday because it was ugly, not ugly, but we all hate first day hair, you know? Like it's just a thing in the natural hair community to hate first day hair. It's a personality trait from pretty much all of us at this point. But I wanted to show you guys what it looked like um, now that it's got 
a little more character to it and stuff. So I am obsessed. It's obviously shorter than I thought it was going to be. Um, I didn't think this much was going to get taken off, but honestly, I kind of needed it because I had like the back of my hair, like this portion was very stretched and she ended up taking a lot of the back off, like the back of my hair off, which was needed. It was just hanging there limply. So it was definitely needed. And she also took a decent amount off of the front and she really uh, trimmed and cut a lot of the ends off. Definitely was needed because again, my ends like in the front were also a little straight. I ain't gonna lie to y'all, I don't know how, I don't know why it happened, but it did. Cause like I haven't used like heat in my hair or anything. But it's cool though, but that's my blanket. But this is the end of the video. I just wanted to show you guys my hair and my thoughts before I logged off. Again, vibes are always 10 out of 10 at that salon. I'm telling you, if you need someone to cut your hair, like I'm going to keep telling you guys about LaToya. And it was so funny because when I was there, she was like, yeah, like people still come to me from that video you had posted on YouTube. And I'm like, period, period. Um, so I'm telling y'all, she will get you right. Like, do you see the shape? BFFR, cause if you saw, you guys saw my hair before, it looked terrible, it was atrocious. So much needed. And the thing is, as it grows out, it's gonna grow out beautifully. I already know. So that's why I'm not even too worried about her cutting it. I'm not even that sad. Like, yeah, I'm like, damn, like she cut a lot of my hair off. Like, you know, cause I'm like really trying to grow out my hair, but honestly, I'm not really tripping about it. Also, I feel like the cut makes the color pop more. I don't know, maybe it's just in my head, but I really do feel like the color makes my hair pop more. And that is also something that I wanted. So yeah, like, I don't know. The highlights just look more poppin'. If you guys liked this video, y'all already know, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Also go ahead and follow me on my social media. My Instagram is Curls on Kyla, so the same as my YouTube. And then my TikTok is also Curls on Kyla, same as YouTube. Um, my little TikTok community is growing, period. So if you wanna go and follow me there, definitely go ahead and do that. And yeah, I think that's pretty much it for this video. As always, I truly do appreciate all of the support. Um, I've been getting a lot more like recognition, and so it's nice to see that like my work, especially on TikTok, is beginning to pay off. And it really is thanks to you guys, especially my OG folks here on YouTube. Um, like it's because of y'all. More videos to come as well especially in the apartment i'm really like i want to do like a bunch of home updates and stuff so i want to do more like vlog style videos and just showing like updates and stuff so if that's something that you guys want to see like stay tuned and obviously hair content which is how i got started i'm going to continue doing so also like be on the lookout for that and yeah I think that's pretty much everything, honestly. I, I didn't really have too much to say. I just wanted to show you guys my hair styled, like how I do it, and then um, just thank you guys. That's pretty much it. I'll see you guys in my next video. So yeah, bye.